Hi and welcome to a new video. AMD released a new lineup of graphics card around two weeks ago. The Radeon RX 550, 570 and the 580. They are still based on the Polaris architecture, not the Vega, what are everybody waiting for. Today I'm testing the RX 550, the cheapest card in the lineup. As AMD claims, it is a replacement for the integrated graphics and it is 5 times faster than the Intel Integrated Graphics and 2 times faster than the Radeon R7 250. The card what I have is a Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 550. It costs around 80 pounds or the same in dollars. It has 512 stream processors, GPU clock at 1206 MHz, 2GB of GDDR5 memory running at 7000 MHz. The card is very compact with a small heatsink and one fan. The power consumption is under 65 watts, so it's not requires additional power. On the back of the card is one DVI-D port, one HDMI out and one DisplayPort 1.4. The card is perfect for online games like League of Legends, Rocket League or Counter-Strike. I pair the card with the Intel G4560 and 8GB of DDR4 memory. So let's jump into the benchmarks and see how it performs. As we can see, it handles League of Legends and World of Warcraft very well, but when I try something more graphically demanding game like Doom or Far Cry, the card was struggling. I had to turn the settings all the way down and even the resolution had to go to 720p down from 1080p. I think the card is overpriced, because for a bit more money you can buy the RX 460 and gain a nice performance boost. This card shouldn't cost more than 60 pounds or dollars, in my opinion. I'm preparing a video where I'm comparing the card head to head with the RX 460, so if you want to see that, then subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, that will be all for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.